The electric chair has long been a symbol of the death penalty in Florida. From 1924 to 2000, when the Florida State Legislature, the electric chair as the sole means of execution in Florida under pressure from the U.S. Supreme Court. In Florida, murder can be punished by death if it involves one of the next aggravating factors. It was committed by a person previously convicted of a felony, under sentence of imprisonment, placed on community control, or on felony probation. The defendant was previously convicted of another capital felony or of a felony involving the use or threat of violence to the person. The defendant knowingly created a great risk of death to many persons. It was committed while the defendant was engaged, or was an accomplice, in the commission of, or an attempt to commit a specified felony such as aggravated child abuse, arson kidnapping, placing or discharging of a destructive device or bomb. It was committed for the purpose of avoiding or preventing a lawful arrest or effecting an escape from custody. It was committed for pecuniary gain. It was committed to disrupt or hinder the lawful exercise of any governmental function or the enforcement of laws. It was especially heinous atrocious, or cruel. It was committed in a cold, calculated, and premeditated manner without any pretense of moral or legal justification. The victim was a law enforcement officer engaged in the performance of his or her official duties. The victim was an elected or appointed public official engaged in the performance of his or her official duties if the motive for the capital felony was related, in whole or in part, to the victim's official capacity. The victim was a person less than 12 years of age. The victim was particularly vulnerable due to advanced age or disability or because the defendant stood in a position of familial or custodial authority over the victim. It was committed by a criminal gang member. It was committed by a person currently or formerly designated as a sexual predator. It was committed by a person subject to a restrictive order or a foreign protection order and was committed against the person who obtained the injunction or protection order or any spouse, child, sibling, or parent of this person. Since 1976, the state has executed 99 convicted murderers, all at Florida State Prison. As of July 8, 2021, 327 offenders are awaiting execution. In January 2000, the Florida legislature passed legislation that allows lethal injection as an alternative method of execution in Florida. Florida administers executions by lethal injection or electric chair at the execution chamber located at Florida State Prison. The three-legged electric chair was constructed from Oak by Department of Corrections personnel in 1998 and was installed at Florida State Prison in Rayford in 1999. The previous chair was made by inmates from Oak in 1923 after the Florida legislature designated electrocution as the official mode of execution. Prior to that, Executions were carried out by counties, usually by hanging. Prior to 1913, Florida's penal system was described as being one of aimless experimentation following by years of convict leasing. Beginning in 1877, the convict leasing program allowed prisoners to be leased to corporations and individuals to work in a variety of industries. The state was paid a fee from the leasee and the leasee had to clothe, feed, house and provide medical care for the prisoner. 
The first buildings at Florida State Prison Farm housed infirm inmates who could not be leased to private businesses. Abolishing the convict leasing practice in 1923, Florida State Prison Farm was one of the last prisons to do so. During the 1920s, an industrial prison was created in addition to the prison farm. This was considered essential for Florida to maintain a profitable and efficient penal system offering full employment and the tools for rehabilitation. By the end of the 1920s, a shirt factory in 1925, shoe factory in 1926, tag plant in 1927, and underwear factory in 1928 had opened. Tags from the factory were also used for inmates' grave sites in the nearby cemetery. The prison farm continued to expand. The number of salaried farm employees, agricultural specialists, and factory managers increased. In 1925 a horticulturalist was hired to grow palms, ferns, and shrubs which were sold on the open market. There was a state prison newspaper called the Rayford Record and a tobacco factory. Inmates worked full-time to process and package cigarettes and chewing tobacco to be supplied free of charge to the prison population. By the 1940s, the farm continued to be self-sustaining with an abundance of chickens, pigs and cows. In June 1972, the U.S. Supreme Court decided the case of Furman v. Georgia. In that case, the court said that capital punishment was illegal and hit down state death penalty laws nationwide. The Supreme Court reversed its ruling in Furman and supported the constitutionality of the death penalty in the case of Gregg v. Georgia in 1976. In 1979, the execution was resumed in Florida when John Spencer Link became the first death row prisoner to be executed under the new statutes. In 1922, inmates skilled in carpentry were given the task of building Florida's first electric chair to be used to execute inmates sentenced to death. Lawmakers considered the electric chair a more humane method of execution than public hanging, which took place in the yards of county courthouses. Old Sparky was used 240 times from 1924 to 1999. A new electric chair was constructed in 1998 by Department of Corrections personnel and was installed in the prison in 1999 to replace the old one. In 2000, offering lethal injection, Florida began allowing inmates to select how they will be executed, following growing controversy over the electric chair. Frank Johnson was the first inmate executed in Florida's electric chair on October 7, 1924. Frank Johnson, also known as Luther Dariel, was convicted of shooting and killing a white Jacksonville Railroad engineer during the course of a burglary in December 1923. He became the first man to be executed on Florida's electric chair. Frank Johnson was the first to die in Old Sparky on October 7, 1924. The state carried out about five executions per year from that point forward. There was no execution in Florida from May 1964 to May 1979. Frank Johnson is buried at Florida State Prison Cemetery. Two sections of the prison cemetery are located on a dirt road just off the main highway that passes through the prison grounds. This section of the cemetery contains the oldest inmate burials. When the old cemetery filled up, 
A new section was added in 1995. This new section of cemetery is located close to the gate. Both cemeteries contain bodies of inmates who were unclaimed by family or friends. Each grave has a concrete slab with a silver tag showing the name, Department of Corrections number, and death date of each inmate. Some of the old graves are partially covered by the ground. Located in a far corner, closest to the densely wooded area, was the oldest marked grave. This belongs to Justice Rice, an inmate who died on October 30, 1913, about the time the prison farm was established. Thank you for watching Death Row.